Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Batfall Scripting. I believe this is your seventh lesson, and today we will be learning more about directors. Now, specifically, we're actually going to be learning how to implement our own variables into directors. So, first of all, this is what we, we learned how to uh, basically enter a certain input into a name, a new file, and also how to add text to a new file. Or an existing file. That's what we learned in the last lesson. In the last lesson, if you don't understand what I uh, what that this does, this line right here does, then please watch rewatch that lesson. Okay. So, anyways, I'm gonna be showing you an example of, on how to um, make your own uh, batch file with a variable um, in the directors. So, set if I were to set a var variable name name and then make it equal to testing. And I, if I were to set a um, director, so echo percent name percent director, and then the name of the file. Let me actually make it hello dot txt. Then let me save this. I already have the batch file made. Okay, so then I just need to run this. As you can see, a new file was made called hello.txt. If I open it up, it should say testing in it. Since we told it to add name to the file, a new file named hello.txt. Now inside it says testing, so it did work. Now you can remove this space right here and then save it and run it. So then that space in the file is removed. Okay, so that's basically how you use variables in directors. Now, let me teach you actually how to make a real-life example that can really come in handy, like a really handy batch file. Uh, let's name it a file maker. Okay, so what you could do is you could actually set the name, and then set the extension. Let me uh, let the user define that. Set uh, slash p, name, extension. Okay, so this is what I never told you yet. You could actually, uh, you don't need to have the echo command, so let me show you an example. Echo, enter the name for your file. And then, echo, enter the extension for your file. You don't actually have to have that, the echo there. You could actually just remove the echo, then take the line that you wanted to say, and then put it right into set slash p name so it'll say on the screen when it opens up enter the name for your file and then you could type something in right here not on the new line right here so you don't need to put in the echo command you could just make it say uh, whatever you want right there instead it won't be included in the input so don't worry about that and you could even enter the you could do the same thing for the extension for your file so put in that right here so that that would work as well so after it gets input for the uh, name of for the file and sets it in name it will ask for the input for ext I could also name that extension and then it'll uh, ask you the extension for the file then you can actually use directors here so I can put echo dot now echo dot it just makes a new line so if I if this uh, file maker will make a new file with the uh, our own name and our own extension um, with an empty line in it so echo dot makes an empty line you can use this in your actual regular day programs like if you wanted a space in your batch file you could just put echo dot and it won't it won't show a dot it'll just um, have a blank line so this is going to make a blank line and then let's make a new file and then let's put in the name name so what this will do is it'll add a new line into a new file that uh, has the name of the contents that we specified right up here so what if I put in Bob right up here it would actually say Bob the file name will be Bob and then the extension I need to put in a dot and then another percent sign and then extension so then I can specify the extension for my file. So if I, let me just make it loop back. Actually, I'm not even going to make it loop. So I'm going to save this right now, and I'll show you what it does. 
Okay, so it says enter the name for your file. As you can see, it works. You don't need the echo command. Enter the name for your file. I'm going to enter uh, testing. Or how about um, type. And then the extension for my file, uh, HTML. Now, as you can see, it made a new file that has the name type and the extension, HTML. If I open it up, it'll be empty. As you can see, it's empty. Okay, so that's how you do that. And you can even make it loop back. So I'm going to make this A, and then I can make it go back to the front. So go to A, save this, and then rerun it. I can type it in if I want. As you can see, it makes different files. So that's how you actually make your own extension uh, or file maker. You can even, uh, if you want to practice uh, actually um, getting a good hang of ex uh, directors, uh, I'll give you an exercise for you to do. Try to make it so that the user can enter whatever he or she wants into the actual file that you just made. So instead of a blank line, like in um, this, Instead of just a blank line, just uh, let the make uh, make a batch file that lets the user enter whatever they want in, as the content of the file. So let's try that out, and uh, if you have trouble doing it, uh, ask me, and I'll tell you how to actually do it. So yeah, that's just an exercise for you to do, and that's basically variables and di in inside directors. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please do post them. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.